Black Widow Natasha Romanoff, also known as Black Widow, faces the darkest chapters of her story when a dangerous conspiracy arises related to her past. Pursued by a force that will stop at nothing to finish her off, Natasha must deal with her story as a spy and the trail of destroyed relationships she left behind long before she became an Avenger. This action, sci-fi and adventure movie part of the Marvel Universe is simply that, just another superheroes movie made for Marvel Comics fans with a weak, predictable and full of political cliches plot with hard to believe parts. The performances, set designs, scenography, costumes and special effects are all decent, but overall we found the movie boring and average, so we give it 2 stars out of 5. Edge of the World In the mid-19th century, the British government commissioned officer Sir James Brooke to put an end to the pirates who ravaged the coasts of Malaysia. But Brooke goes further and once he reaches his destination, he will not only exterminate the pirates, but becomes the Raja of the Kingdom of Sarawak. This historical drama and adventure movie, based on true events, is interesting but the story unfolds rather too fast, as if the film was badly edited due to a time limit. The performances are decent but far from being spectacular. Set designs, costumes, scenography and cinematography are all good. We believe they could have made a better film, so we give it 2 stars out of 5. Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard The world's deadliest couple, bodyguard Michael Bryce and hitman Darius Kincaid, fight a villain who aims to destroy Europe, but they won't do it alone. Darius' unpredictable wife accompanies them on the mission. We found this drama, comedy and action movie to be ridiculous, exaggerated, full of cliches and we didn't like it. Watching Selma Hadjik cuss all the time, too many ridiculous scenes, Ryan Reynolds' performance which is similar to that in other films where he portrays a dummy and the weak plot simply bored us. The performances are mediocre, the scenography and set designs are decent but the special effects are average. We give this flop of a film 1 star out of 5. Infinite Evan Michaels is a schizophrenic man tormented by memories that are nightmares for him until he discovers that his hallucinations are not really what they seem. They are actually memories of his past lives. In this way, he meets a group of people who are like him, almost immortal beings known as the Infinite, who have been reincarnated over the centuries. This sci-fi and action movie has an original, entertaining and interesting plot. There are some parts we found weak and exaggerated, but the story keeps you hooked till the end. The performances, special effects, set designs and scenography are all good, but the movie, sadly, is far from being spectacular. The film is fun to watch, so we give it 3 stars out of 5. Kingdom Ashen of the North Tragedy, betrayal and a mysterious discovery fuel a woman's thirst for revenge who has lost her family and tribe in this special chapter of the hit series Kingdom. This special episode of the series Kingdom was released as a standalone movie and can be watched even if you haven't seen the series as it has a plot with a beginning and an end. The performances, costumes, the scenography and special effects are all good. This is an entertaining production so we give it 3 stars out of 5. We recommend you watch the series currently of two seasons with a third to be released this year. The Ice Road After the collapse of a remote diamond mine in Canada's far north regions, a driver leads an impossible rescue mission over a gigantic frozen terrain. This drama and action movie is original, interesting and entertaining with an easy to follow plot. 
There are some exaggerated and hard to believe parts, but they don't take away from how the story unfolds. The performances, cinematography and special effects are all decent, and because it's fun to watch, we give this film 3 stars out of 5. The Misfits after being recruited by a group of unconventional thieves, renowned criminal Richard Pace becomes embroiled in an elaborate heist that promises to have far-reaching implications for his life and the lives of many others. This comedy and action movie was boring and exaggerated with average performances with an uninteresting and predictable plot. Even counting with good scenography, cinematography and set designs, it was not enough to save the movie, so we give it 1 star out of 5. The Tomorrow War One day the world is paralyzed when a group of time travelers are transported from the year 2051 to our present to deliver an urgent message. Humanity is losing the war against a lethal alien species. The only hope for survival is that the soldiers and citizens of the present will be transported to the future and join the fight. This sci-fi action and adventure movie has an original and interesting plot, but sadly it disappointed us. It starts good, but as the story unfolds, it becomes predictable, with weak and hard to believe parts and some even ridiculous. For example, they sent badly trained civilians to fight with no idea how to kill the aliens, how to survive during combat, no armor, among other things. They are just cannon fodder. Why do they do this? Who knows? They don't explain why. In the beginning, the world is united, but then in the end, they hate the Russians again and go to kill the bugs aboard a cargo plane crossing Russian airspace without telling the Russians or asking for their help. This is another example of a political anti-Russia cliché in a US film. Ridiculous! What about those humans from the future that in the end find themselves stuck in the present? Are they going to meet themselves as children in the present? No idea, no explanation. There are other examples like these in the film. So even with decent performances, costumes, special effects and set designs, we found this production average, so we give it 2 stars out of 5.